Good morning, LGN. Today is Friday, April 14th, 2023. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Place your right hand over your heart and face the flag. One, two, three. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, friends, it is Friday. Uh, I don't know about you, but my head is still spinning from yesterday with our very special visit from Peter and his twin brother, Paul Reynolds. Uh, just such a fun day from our whole school assembly in the morning to our bookmark winners having lunch with Peter and Paul. Uh, our third graders got some special time in the afternoon with some story writing. It was just super amazing. And uh, thank you again to all those folks who had a hand in making that day happen, especially Mrs. Dermis, Mrs. Kabat, Ms. Carlson and Mrs. Young uh, for writing that grant and, and just embracing um, the wonderful opportunities we have here in Norton. And thank you to Need Norton Embracing Educational Development. Uh, without them, that visit would not have been possible yesterday. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, I also want to make sure I announce birthdays. We're going into vacation week next week. So a very happy birthday to Nathan Vitello, to Elizabeth Grover, Ellie Bouchard, Braden DeJoy, Emma Dion and Hunter McKenzie. I hope you all celebrate in a fabulous way over vacation. Don't forget to grab your birthday book today. And you may have noticed Mr. Higgins is rocking his purple today in honor of Autism Acceptance Month all across Norton today. People are wearing their purple uh, in solidarity of people living with autism. As I mentioned last week, autism is a neurological variation, which means your brain works a little bit differently than the brains of non-autistic people. And that's amazing. And one of the cool things I heard um, Peter Reynolds say yesterday, he was working with some third graders, is that everyone has just such a wonderful brain and they all work in different ways. And we just have to find what our interests are and find people who are interested in those same things and really just embrace life and embrace each other, be kind, right? So we're celebrating today. It is a half day of school. And uh, we do have some poems coming up from Mrs. O'Hare's class, so I'm going to turn it over to them. Oh, I did, before I, I turn it over to them, I did pick Purple Hearts. I know we're going into vacation week, but my friends here can come and visit me today and make a choice if they'd like. Uh, first up is Nick Noble, very deserving Nick. Oh, Sophia McInturf, nice job, Sophia. Luca DeRosa, nice job, Luca. What is this one? Oh, Eli Knox, very cool. And last but not least, Skylar Davis. So there's our five Purple Heart winners. You can come visit me this morning and make your selection. And I did get these really cool pencils from Peter and Paul yesterday. Make your mark and see where it takes you. Peter H. Reynolds. I'll throw those in my prize box. Make supplies while they last. Yep. Okay. Uh, Mrs. O'Hare students, take it away. Everyone else, have a wonderful Friday and a vacation. Don't, don't forget, Mr. Higgins loves you. Bye. My Brother Shaved His Teddy Bear by Jack Perlutsky. My brother shaved his teddy bear about a year ago. He did a very thorough job and stripped it head to toe. He acted sort of suddenly, entirely on a whim. It sounds a bit unusual. It's normal though for him. Before my brother shaved it, it was quite a handsome bear. But now it looks pathetic and repairs beyond repair. Its fur was soft and velvety, luxurious and long. He thought it would grow back again. It looks like he was wrong. Book time by Avis Harley. So many places to read a book. Bedroom, living room, kitchen, nook. Classroom, lunchroom, library hall. Bus stop, treetop, hilltop, mall. Backyard, garden, patio, park. Under the sheets in, a, in flash lit dark. Tea house, tree house, subway train. Attic, camper, trailer, plane. Seaside, lake, side, by a brook. Where do you like to read your book? 